I used to hear about this guy like he was like this, this god of radio, right? The guy that you wanted to meet, the guy that you wanted to interact with if you wanted to forward your career. And he's gone from YFM, moved to 5FM. When he was there, 5FM was the thing. He was the guy running the ship and he hadn't even turned 30 years old. He now is one of yours and he's at Gaga CFM as the M MD and he's doing amazing things and he's turned around the station and he's the guy behind it. So please put your hands together for Vugile Zonti. Long story short is that first of all, getting to YFM, first day that I get into YFM, day before they say we must come, must come to a kind of lunch, dinner, whatever it may be. They were presenting the numbers there. Uh, all the DJs were there from Mosquito, Lee Kasumba, AK, all that stuff. So I get find out on that day that, hey, guys, he tells, Kantan tells all these DJs, you're reporting to this young man now. How? Oh. <laughs> you know, type thing. So, you know, I greet everybody. I'm like, I'm sure this is like an inside thing, whatever. Following day, I have to come to work, I could put into a boardroom. You must understand, I come from Vasti, yeah, I've never worked anywhere. Get into a boardroom, they sit there, they, oh, they talk about, hey, Mosquito was in this, Event, he was back, he was swearing, and what are, what are the clients are unhappy? I'm like, hey, 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 yeah, she's a villa. Ah, <laughs> then they say, okay, guys, meeting over. And they asked me, a couple of other people, to stay out over uh, after, this, after this meeting. And they talk about, it, yeah, the client is livid, hey, we need to do whatever it may be. So Kanten says, you know, you do this, you go speak to clients, whatever, whatever. Vugile, you need to discipline Oskido. How? <laughs> And the reason why Oskido and I, to this day, will forever have a good rapport. This guy walks in, me, I've got my speech in my head, which, you know, this is what the problem, you know, I've got this thing. Mm. He comes there and he stops me dead in my checks with him. But in essence, actually, as in, I feel like a fool. Because in me, I am supposed to be setting the example. When I do things like this, you just come here, you're a young guy, you're talented. Like, I don't want to be going and undermining you like this as you start. Literally, guys, I'm just like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> so, so that was my first day at work. And the, 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 the deep ends from then onwards just kept on coming, you know. And but as I said before, I came to quickly realize that I, I'm a sucker for deep ends. I can only operate in deep ends. Like when it's too easy coasting and whatnot, it's not really, you know, then I get bored and, you know, but when the anti's up and you know, the challenges are popping up every day. And that's what was what my, my career has been really throughout. You start by chasing a passion and kind of, you know, navigating through your unique sorts of circumstances, but really chasing after that passion because everybody's dealt certain hands of cards, um, you know, whether it's poverty, whether it's lack of access to certain things, but passion is what drives you beyond your circumstance. As you're chasing your passion, you know, the why itself crystallizes a lot more. I think my why when I was 23 and what my why is now at 33 um, has really evolved, but it really is driven by a passion. It's, and that's that thing that will kind of drive you through all the many circumstances that you have to go through. First thing, find your why, because when the stormy waters come, if you're doing it for the wrong reasons, is going to teach you, but allow yourself to learn that lesson too, you know, when you realize and, and move across. Nothing works in this consecutive perfect story type thing. You have to make, you build your own story through experiences. And it's important that you have a focus, it's important that you have a why, it's important that you have a, a dream. Work the dream, they do come true. Um, again, going back to my point, there's got to be a dream, first of all. Um, um, you're not going to do it if there's no dream. And also, that dream is actually what makes you not really care about the, the circumstances and whatever it may be. Without a dream, if you don't have a dream. I think there's a lot of things that are put to you that tell you why you can't do things. Um, that I think one of the things I was saying, um, you know, in Zulu it says, don't let them scare you. Um, whether it's jargon, whether it's big piles of, of, of papers and documents that you have to read to people telling you that this industry is totally something that you can't get into or you need to have 15, or everybody else has got 20 or 15 years experience. Um, it's important to kind of, again, um, be able to look past all of that and really don't let yourself kind of, don't let your light or your passion be dimmed by 
what is out there. Prioritize being with yourself and being with your own thoughts because it just recalibrates your, your focus, recalibrates your direction on things and reminds you why it is that you're actually doing what you're doing. Me time, prayer time, you time. If you don't pray, whether it's whether it's it, 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 any time, guys, where you find that time to be with you and look at yourself and, 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 and talk to yourself and be honest with yourself. That thing, you have to learn, you have to allow whatever lesson is pushing you to doing that, allow that because that's a very big thing. I think with more and more of these kinds of platforms, you know, you, you're able to touch the right people just to, you know, help them over that line and also to start sparking the kind of conversations that we need to start having, to start changing the mindsets. The Live Better Talks kind of really speak to a, a passion point of mine. I think working in radio, you're always in the space of driving conversations and getting people talking about it. And I think this is just something that I see as a natural extension kind of in, in, as a person who is involved in creating conversations out in society.